MDS, this is Andy. What's going on, man? Is this you testing me in uh it, I mean, is this me and you going back and forth in the testing? Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I I, I didn't look at the phone number, I was typing the email. So. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. What's going on, man? What's going on? How you feel this morning? Oh, uh, it's Monday, man. It, you know, it always, it, always, it always is, bro. It Man. always is. All right, so who I, I got it. All right, so who am Wait. I who am I talking to? Uh my name is Andy Jensen and I'm a recruiting manager for MDS Trucking V. All right, so in M Addison, Illinois. MDS Trucking out of out of where now? Addison, Illinois. All right, all right. Addison, Illinois. Well, of course, you know who I am. I am LaShawn G, the host of the Lockout Man podcast show. So I really do appreciate that uh, you taking the time to come on and and uh, chopping it up with me and let me know what you guys got to offer for uh, for drivers out here. Now, let me ask you this question before yeah. we, before we get into it, man. Go ahead. Now, there, you know, Illinois, Chicagoland area. Anywhere in that area, you know, we, we, we got truck drivers that has some very big opinions of companies out in that area. What makes you guys different from all the other companies that's 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 in your area? Well, wait, um, I've been a recruiter for this company for about a year. Mm -hmm. Um and like I said, I'm a Kansas boy. I I don't know much about Illinois. Um, but I think from just reading your comments on different shows that, you know, and different people are talking about, I think we're obviously we're more transparent than any of them. Um, we just tell it how it is. You know, we our safety guys stick to the book, you know, um, there is no pushing the guy over the limit, you know, using his PC time to t take care of a load because that way it ain't going to deliver late. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you don't have time, you don't have time. You know, it's, we, we're concerned more about a driver's safety than to get our load delivered. Okay. Okay. That's good to hear. That's good to hear um, because that's, that's, I, I think that's one of the big, uh, biggest complaints uh, with these particular companies uh, that's in the area. But, I mean, uh, and like you said, if you don't have no time, you don't have no time. Um, exactly. I, would, I would also tend to think that there is a little bit of outlaw truckers out there that does, you know, that does do that, you know, versus, you know, versus the ones that, you know, complain about it the most. But, um, but of course, it's like if you get caught, the company ain't going to take no responsibility. Am I right? Yeah. Well, you know, well, the company, it, it, they, they're not going to take, they're going to do their best not to take responsibility, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, because nobody wants to finger point it at them. Right. The driver don't, the company don't, nobody does. Um, but the thing is, uh, we, our safety guys, if, if if you go over your limit, they shut you down. You know, they we don't play that game because that's why DOT, you know, they see our name. They, they're they not too worried about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've actually had DOT guys call our safety and say we're doing a good job. Well, okay. Okay. That's because we, you know, we, we think it's just, um, so if the, if the driver is doing that, with in our company, it's definitely the driver's fault because we will never tell you to push. The only you know we would we would turn your PC on so you can find the nearest truck stop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you're definitely not going to get your PC turned on just so you can go another hundred miles just so you can get closer. So that way you you know what I mean? Gotcha. That ain't going to happen. Gotcha. All right. So you know. 
you know my platform we we connect with thousands of drivers out here drivers that listen to my platform on a daily basis you know including myself you know we like to connect them with companies like yours you know what i'm saying so we give you the we give you guys the opportunity to come out here to you know tell it like it is tell what you guys have to offer and you know and see you know hopefully the information will resonate with them to you know pick up that phone and give you guys a call and actually uh come on board with you so let's just start with the with the few questions uh that i have for you and uh and you know you could tell you could tell us you know what's what is mds what they have available right all right so um all right so with that said can you tell me a little bit more about the company and what type of freight do you guys all uh we are a family-owned business uh two brothers that used to be truckers started the company 16 years ago Mm -hmm. roughly almost 16 um and we uh we started out with you know like uh dry van reapers flatbed and then a couple years ago they took away the reapers because it was just not profitable enough with customer clientele that we had uh the repairs and upkeep it it was just it it wasn't it just wasn't we couldn't keep a a happy medium to where drivers and company and everybody could make some money so we now we just do dry van (coughs) general cargo dry van and flatbed step like load load all right all right how much experience are you guys looking for uh, we, we we require two years minimum. All right. So if 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 anybody that's you know that that has like maybe I don't know like eighteen months or something like that, would they would they still be able to you know would you still be able to give them a chance? Uh, we'd love to, but the uh, insurance company would knock them down. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, uh, um, you know when they're pushing the two year mark. Uh, our insurance company will go through, they, they have to get it approved, but it, it, it has to be really close to two years before the insurance company will approve them. All right. What's the, uh, what's the starting pay? And now you say it's two years is the minimum, but for drivers that got mm-hmm. like six years or more, is the pay variance the same as coming in or is it different? Same. So what's the pay, we pay percentage? What's uh, y'all pay percentage? Yep. All right. Yeah, we uh, yeah, we give we have uh, three pay plans available. Mm-hmm. One is more for when we have you know that do really small runs. They don't have a lot of mileage, you know, and so their gross will be loud, lower, and that is the seventy-seven percent. Mm-hmm. Um. And the reason why it's 77% because that covers your cargo, liability, occupational insurances, and it also covers the tra- trailer fee. So you only pay for fuel, um, IFTA, uh, Bobtail, you know, those are the only three pretty much things you buy, pay for, well, ELD, you know, the pre-pass or I-pass if you want to get those and stuff like that, but, but it, it, it covers those. Okay. And then, then we have a ninety percent and a hundred percent plan. Okay. And the ninety percent and the hundred percent plan are the same thing, you know. As an owner operator, you or self employed person working for yourself, you will uh, you pay for everything. You pay for your occupational uh, liability. You pay all your insurances. You pay for the trailer. You, you just pay for all your expenses like because it's your own company within MDS, okay? Mm-hmm. And then you pay 10%. Um, and then on the 100%, it's the same thing, but instead of paying 10% of every load, you just pay a flat rate of $300 a week. So that's, that's $300 we now, pay you guys, right? Yes. 
instead of paying like a percentage of every load, you know how pretty much everybody pays a percentage of every load to the company, right? Mm -hmm. And well, we don't do that. We're on the hundred percent plan. You don't do that. You just pay a weekly rate of 300 bucks. Okay, okay. Because you're getting a hundred percent of the revenue. And so for the hundred percent of the revenue, well, so the company don't go basically broke, but you know, cover covers their costs, you know, for dispatcher safety, billing, you know, just cover company costs. We have to charge we have to make money too. So um we charge three hundred bucks a week. Okay. But that is what we'd call a contract plan. And so with that con, basically when you sign up for the hundred percent revenue, you are committing to 52 weeks at $300 a week, you know, it's cause we just want your, if you're going to get a hundred percent of the revenue, we want you to drive with us for a year, one year. Okay. All right. That's what's up. So by, by the sounds, all of this, this don't sound like it's W2. It sound more like 1099. That's that's what you guys are. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. These are owner operator positions. These okay. are owner operator positions. Okay, okay. Uh, these are basically pe people like being uh, just ten ninety nine. You know that want to be. You know they could be in a rental. They could be at least to purchase a truck. They could have their own truck. It doesn't matter how they how they want to be considered an owner operator. It, it's just as an owner operator. All right, cool. So with, with these positions that you just mentioned, owner operator for owner operators, do you have positions for way, you know, for, for regular guys like myself to come in and would I be 1099 uh company driver or would I be 1099 lease lease driver? Um it depends on what you want. Hmm. Um because uh, those pay, you know, cause like, if you want to be a company, right? Cause we have, we don't really have 1099 company positions. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, uh, I'll get into that here in a second, but so our company position is a W2. We pay 1700 a week and it's just a flat rate for the W2. Okay. Um, and they have, and I think it's, I think it's 25 or 25 or 35. I can't remember what the sign on bonus is, but, um, but with a, like, I think I'm just going to stick with 25 because I can't, re I remember they changed it a while back, but I can't remember if it went back down because it was, they have, we have different promotions, you know, <laughs> my mind is off. I guess um, take it, the only take thing is we're just not, we just not hiring a W2 at the moment. So that's why I can't really remember. Um, but, but the W two positions when we are ready to hire more, um, they pay seventeen hundred a week, and then we have a sign on bonus. I think it's twenty five hundred. All right, um, so seventeen. We want the drivers to be about what's that? Seventeen seventeen hundred a week. That's that's flat rate out. I mean, out the door rate. No, no, uh, no if ands additives or anything like that. Just a flat seventeen hundred. Oh, that's seventeen hundred a week. Oh, okay. Yeah, on a W two, you get seventeen hundred weeks. The only thing that's not taken out is taxes. Um, it all depends on what you put on your W four. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Continue. You know, one one dependent, three dependent, zero dependent. You know, then you. It, it's hard to really tell you what your taxes will be, but. <laughs> but. All right. Uh, all right. Go ahead. Continue. But yeah. Yeah, and then uh, but on the on the W two one, we uh, require. The drivers to be on the road uh, three to four weeks, uh, and then you take off like four days or so, you know. Um, and then because that way we could, you know, the company could make money also. And then, but that's just we we re we require, you know, the drivers to be out three to four weeks on a on a W two. All right, all right. So if you guys, so of course you guys is offering ten ninety nine. So let's just say hypothetically that if a driver gets into any type of accident out here, who covers the accident? The own uh the, the driver or the company? Uh the driver would. Mm. All right. Well, why would the company cover? 
Well, some you know, like if it's if if it's an at fault accident, that's understandable. But if it's a non preventable accident, like if somebody would clip them in the in the fuel line or in the fuel station oh. or or anything like that. Oh well, well, I'm sure there's you know everything that goes, but depends on circumstances and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But more than likely, because um, you're paying you're paying insurance, you're paying your bobtail insurance, you're paying. You know, you're paying different insurances. So it, it covers, you know, you just have to cover your deductible. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, when you're, because like on the, on the trailer, because when you're, you're renting a trailer, mm-hmm. um, you know, which you don't pay for any wear and tear on it. You know, you don't pay for repairs, but you know, like if it was an accident, if, if it was deemed your fault, the com- the company is going to say it's your fault you got to pay the deductible for the in to fix this trailer. Gotcha. Um, and if, if, if it's not your fault, if the re- not your fault, well then the, their insurance is going to pay to fix the truck trailer. You know I mean? It, but, um, you know, I mean, that's why we have outward facing dash cams. Uh, I wish we had, you know, to look at the back of the trailer. Mm-hmm. We don't have those yet. Um, you know, I mean, cause it's kind of, you know, It'd be kind of nice to see if you know whose fault it is, because sometimes they like to blame truckers, For even everything. though they get rear-ended. Uh, no. So, but we don't have the rear-facing, you know, the out facing the tail end of the truck yet. But it'd be nice. But we just got them facing outward, so this way, if a deer, if you hit a deer, if you hit a car, I mean, because we had a lady that was in a wreck a uh, month, two months ago. And that dash cam proved a hundred percent. She did everything in her possible that was so that she could have done. It was not her fault whatsoever. That's that dash cam saved her. That's what's up, man. All right. So what type of equipment you guys have and what's the truck speed? Um, well, uh, well, we usually, when we do leave, um, uh, like our equipment, it, it varies because every driver has their own. I mean, cause we have a little over a hundred drivers on the road and only two of them are W2. All the other ones are owner ops. Oh, okay. Um, but so it's really hard to say what equipment we have. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. um, but for like lease to purchase, uh, we only lease to purchase, uh, brand new vehicles. We don't do used. Um, it, it's just, it's just been problematic. You know, it, it just sucks selling a driver a used truck, and then six months down the road he has a big repair. Exactly, you know, it, it always it just, happens. It, the company feels bad. The company feels bad. The trucker, you know, it, it, it's just, it, it just, it just not, it, it's just not good. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, because some some drivers have been really good, and then you know, some drivers get a little thinking that we sold them a bad truck, you know, it, mm-hmm. dude, it's a used truck. We, we didn't know that it was going to go out six, seven months now. From, you know what I mean? And it, it, it's just not, it's just not a good way to do business. So that's why we've been sticking with just brand new. It has warranty and it's a better way to, it, it's a better way for us to keep a relationship with the driver. All right. All right. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. M D S out of Illinois, out, out of where now? Edison. Add it. It's Ed- like 20 miles west of Chicago. All right. So it's Edison with an E, right? Not an A. 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 Oh, oh it's with Addison. A- Addison. All right. Addison, Illinois. MDS. Yo, brother, man, I really do appreciate you stopping by and uh, chopping it up with me and, and uh, getting the good information out there for uh, MDS. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I appreciate no it. This I, is more than I bargained for. I just <laughs> made a comment on your YouTube channel. I didn't think about it. I didn't. I wasn't. Oh, uh, no, no. I, I appreciate I, I appreciate the support and uh, and the comment, bro. So, you know, but like I said, that's what yeah, we that's no you know, that's what we here to do. You know, be here to to get your message out by spotlighting the company. And uh, I really appreciate you coming on and uh, chopping it up with me. You have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and all that other good stuff, man. 
Yeah. No, hey, you too. You have a good holidays, New Year's, and if you have any questions, if you ever want to talk, feel free, man. I'm here. No doubt, no doubt. And if you want, uh, well, not if you want, but I would like you to, uh, send me, you know, text me your contact information, uh, the Intelli link, and uh, let me see, the Intelli link, and the con. I think that's about it. The contact information and the Intelli link where the drivers can uh, connect to, you know, putting in the application with you. Oh, sure. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, text you where we texted before, right? Yeah, yeah, text yeah. That one. Yep, exactly. Sure. Not a problem. All right, bro, you take Not it easy. Problem, and, no. and thank you very much. Hey, hey, you too, man. Hey, appreciate it. And you're going to have to forgive me 100%. What was your name again, sir? Lockout Men. But you can call you it Lockout Men or you lockout can call man. me Shine. Okay. Either way, I call you lockout man. It don't matter. It's all good. <laughs> I appreciate you. Uh, I mean, man. I knew that part. I knew the YouTube guy. I knew. I knew you. I knew lockout meant YouTube, but I couldn't remember. Your I remember. I thought sure you introduced yourself at the beginning of our conversation. I couldn't remember. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very uh, much. All son. good. All good. Hey, you, you have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Yes, sir. Yeah. Bye. And there you have it, MDS out of Addison, Illinois. If you guys are interested in MDS, make sure you give them a call and see what they can work for you. If any driver that drives for MDS, yo, let me know how they treating you, bro. Hit me up in the comments below and uh, let us know uh, how what MDS is about. Again, if you guys are interested in MDS, the information that you need will be in the description below so you can give them a call and come on. Owner operators, they got three tiers for you. 77%, they got the 90% and the full 100% of the load. All you got to do is pay them $300 and you will get 100% of the load. So if any owner operators out there that's thinking about making a switch or new owner operators that been in the game for at least two years, MDS might be the company to drive for and might be the company that you might like. Yo, if you like information like this and if it's beneficial to you, make sure you hit that like button. If you like the channel and what I do over here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I really do appreciate everybody watching. Thank you very much. And I will come back at you again. Peace.